Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. So really quick, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway of my audiobook. Um, for, I'm going to be choosing one person a day for five days starting today for anyone who shares my page and encourages others to find, follow it because when we get to 500,000, I have a big surprise. So I'm trying to get there. Um, so every day, Taylor and I are going to pick one winner and mail out a copy of my audiobook. Don't forget, I'll be signing copies of my book for the holiday at Barnes & Noble at the Summit on December 17th on, at 10 a.m. You can call Barnes & Noble and order a book and I'll sign it for you. Um, so I wanted to tell you something interesting. Last night, Michael and I were talking about um, one of those things called that you make for New Year's. Oh, New Year's resolutions. Duh. And... Um, I was, he said to me, what are you doing for new, like your resolution? And I said, well, I'm going to stop. I'm going to try to stop cursing. And he said something so interesting to me. Every once in a while, that man says something. He said, why are you going to do that? And I said, I don't know, because I want to curse less. And he said, but every year you, you put, you say you're going to stop cursing so much on your New Year's resolution list. And every year you get, you feel disappointed in yourself because you can't do it. And he said, who, somebody has made you feel like the fact that you curse so much is like a bad thing. You know, I'm not going to name names, but I know who, who they are. He said, they've made you feel like it's not ladylike, like it's not classy, like you can't be successful if you curse so much and you, you know, whatever. He said, you never take the Lord's name in vain ever, which is true. I do not ever. He said, you never curse in front of our children, which is 98% true. He said, and you never curse at me. I said, I know. He said, so what's the problem? So you say the F word when you bang your toe, you, you know, you, whatever, you know, he gave me a few examples of my colorful language. And he said, but I think the things that matter, you have great control over. Um, and he said, I just don't think you should put that on your list because you're constantly setting yourself up for failure. And you're always disappointed in yourself come January 3rd when you've already cursed 10 times and you're like, oh, I can't do it. I don't know why I can't do it. What is wrong with me? And he said, I don't think there's anything wrong with you. It's just part of who you are. He said, and I happen to love it. You're so different from me. He, and he was like, I don't want you to be just like me. And I swear to you that it was like I felt like someone had set me free. I, I was like, between watching the Giants win, no, no gloating here, Cowboy fans, um, and then that, I just, we're not snugglers. And last night we got into bed and I was like, can we snuggle? And he lifted his arm up. He was like, bring it in. Cause I like to smell his armpit. And I climbed in close to him and wrapped, you know, my gig long monster legs around his legs. And I said to him, thank you so much for saying that to me because you really set me free. It was like, I had believed what everybody told me about my mouth. I talk too much. I curse too much. I'm too loud, blah, blah, blah. And I feel bad about it. And he was like, why do you think I married you for the mouth? You're welcome. <laughs> um, he was like, all of it. I love it. I love who you are. I love not knowing what's going to come out of your mouth. I love the way my children throw their head back and laugh at the things that come out of your mouth. So, um, so I said to him, it's just that, you know, when you are made to feel like you are like something about you, because look like cursing isn't in my like chemical makeup. It's not like brown hair or brown eyes. It's not like I can't change it. It's just, I can't change it. I I've tried so many times. And he was like, why don't you choose things that you have a better chance at succeeding so you can feel good about your New Year's resolutions as opposed to constantly choosing things that you'll fail at 
which make you feel bad all the time. And I thought that's a very good idea. And that is a very good thing to, to talk to the Coffee Talk community about because I think a lot of times we go into situations like, okay, I'm not going to do X, but X is so much a part of who we are that we're setting ourselves up for failure. Like there's just no way to be in a relationship without X or there's no way to make a, re you know, to go through life without Y. And so we're, con you know, we're, we allow society to make us feel bad about part of who we are. Like, and let's not harp on this. I'm just making a point. Okay. Don't, let's not get crazy. Yesterday, I got a message from someone who said, do me a favor and don't put videos of you dancing to Spanish music online. Like, that's not what we come to your page for. Just stick to the self-help and you'll be all right. And I laughed because no, like no, I will never be the person who doesn't share those moments with you. And I don't need you to tell me whether you like them or you don't because it doesn't really matter because it is so much a part of who I am. And when I hear something that brings me so much joy, I want to share it with you guys, whether it's something my kid says, whether it's a song that gets me moving, whether it's something I see in a store or whatever, or my Instagram. <laughs> a bunch of you came over yesterday. I know your mind's been blown by the craziness. Can't say I didn't warn you. Um, Anyway, no, I am just going to be who I am. I'm 40. I'm 40 and I say a lot. And guess what? My husband doesn't care. And he said to anyone, I like this. He said to, and people say you won't be successful if you curse a lot. I don't know. You pretty successful and you got a man that loves you. I was like, yeah, he's, he's not here right now, but he's great. He was like, shut up. Oh, I love him. Um, anyway, just a thought. If you keep choosing the same thing, like this New Year's, I'm going to lose weight. And if that's what you're choosing every year and you're not succeeding because the way you're setting yourself up is not setting, your, setting yourself up for, for success, then perhaps don't make that your resolution this year because you'll only feel bad about it. Find something smaller, something different that you can stick to, like... I'm going to try to eat more vegetables. That's much better than saying I'm going to lose weight because we all say that and then it doesn't happen and we all feel bad about ourselves. So I, I'm going to find a, um, an alternative to my resolution. Um, all right. I love you guys so much today. Have a great day.